Hey everybody, Kevin Thatcher, the founder and CEO of Independence Title, also known as your Title King. Today we have another fantastic episode of Title Tuesdays where we're bringing in a special guest. Chad's with Close with us. They're a mortgage lender here right in South Florida through the Hamilton Funding Group. And, and the reason I brought him in is because he posted a really cool video. You know, they believe in the same type of concepts that we do within our business, talking about building relationships and talking about different unique ways of marketing. And, and I've been following them for quite some time. We've closed a number of deals with them and we love the process. So anytime we love dealing with a company, we like to bring them in and just showcase them a little bit because you may need their products or services down the line or, or maybe they can help build your business. So what I wanted to start off with was you, you had a pretty cool video which had nothing to do with the lending side of right. it. You talked about five to nine was the title. Can you just tell them a little bit about that? Sure, thanks and thanks for having me, Kevin. You're Appreciate welcome. it. So I, got, I caught a lot of heat for that from a lot of my buddies that are like, uh, you know, what are you doing at 5 a.m.? They're like, oh, I'm sleeping. So, um, so I did a video and a lot of people talk nine to five, right? And so nine to five traditionally is the, the time where everyone goes to work. And so I said, you know, everyone knows that's important. But for me, five to nine is important. And that's 5 a.m. in the morning uh, until 9 a.m. And really it's like 4.15 in the morning, but I kind of thought I'd lose a lot of people if I put 4.15 to 9. So I wanted to make it a little more realistic where people can uh, digest it. And so my concept was you got to get yourself uh, on the on-ramp to your day. And I think a lot of people let their day control them and they don't really have a plan of attack for the day. So my 5 to 9, kind of the way it, just the way I talked about it in the video was I get up at 4.15, I get to the gym by five, uh, and I work out usually from five to six. And um, home by 6.10, get home, take a shower, get ready, and the kids wake up around seven, and we get, I spend some quality time with the kids in the morning. My wife takes them around 7.45, and they're off to school, and now I'm already ready for my day, and I have from 7.45 until nine to truly plan out my course of attack and what I'm gonna do that day in my business to, to move the barometer forward. And um, on the days where I don't wake up early enough and don't get off to that, that good start, my day just takes me in a whole different direction. I wake up just in time to get the kids awake. Um, then wife, my wife takes them to school. I'm jumping in the shower. I'm getting to work just by nine or 9.30. And it's like, I don't even know what I'm doing that day. And so it just doesn't work out. And uh, I walk in, I walk into work like a grumpy individual uh, and nobody wants that. So when I, when I get it off to the right start, from, from five to nine, I walk in the office with purpose. My planning's already done. And I know exactly what I'm gonna do that day to grow the business and I'm being proactive, not reactive to my day. Which is awesome. You know, and for those of you that know, I, I love fitness and I get up every day with my daughter. She's 13 now, she comes to boot camp with me That's every awesome. day. Uh, we're running the Spartan race coming up this weekend for the first time. She's going to be running it with me. So, you know, I believe in That's it. I believe cool. in, in just starting your day off right, having some quality family time and getting into the office fresh with, with a plan of action as right. opposed to first coming in to clean off your desk. So hopefully that was the message you guys received uh, today, which is why I invited him in. I want to talk a little bit, though, on the business side, because obviously they're, they're a very well-known mortgage lender here. Um, but... You know, as with title, I say the real estate closing process is going to be the same everywhere. My right. rates are going to be roughly the same. The fees are going to be the same. Um, you know, so they're going to come to you for a mortgage and they should be getting the best possible rate. They should right. be getting the best possible service. But it's what else you guys offer Absolutely. to build the relationship that I think is so unique that we can tell them about. And nobody ever will walk in and say, hey, you know, my service is just above average, right? So if you go, if you walk into a into a room of realtors or title professionals or mortgage professionals and you say, okay, everyone in the room, raise your hand if you give above average service. And everybody in the room is gonna raise their hand and statistically speaking, that's just not true, right? Everybody can't be above average or there wouldn't be average. So what we go to, what we try to accomplish by going above and beyond is we help our realtor partners. We are more B2B. So we help our realtor partners grow their business and we do that in a variety of ways. And so, for example, today we went out and did a presentation um, to a group of realtors and we talked about their daily success plan. And we talked about what do you do from nine to five uh, instead of five to nine to grow your business and what does your daily ritual look like? Because a lot of people walk in and they don't have a plan on what they're gonna do that day. So we cover things with our real estate partners, um, whether it's uh, just something basic, like how many calls are you gonna make a day? What, how many visits are you gonna do? 
we talk about digital marketing, we talk about social media marketing, we talk about um, going out and doing network events, how to position yourself and how to brand yourself. Because I think that's the most important thing. If you look at where uh, the industry is shifting right now, it is to, everybody needs to brand themselves and what they're all about. Because like you said, uh, the, the playing fields are very level right now, right? So in the title business and the mortgage, and everyone's kind of have the same rates. And what are you gonna do to differentiate yourself? So I would, I would, I would pose the same question to your viewers is, what do you do each and every day to differentiate yourself in your business? And you really gotta sit back and ask yourself that question. And um, so right now ours, we have a huge push towards um, ease of doing business with us, the fast, easy, but most important personal approach. So we have a competitors in our business like Quicken, uh, the Rocket Mortgage, Movement Mortgage, and you know a lot of people wanna, you know, they want to try to, to discount what they're doing. I think it's a great thing what they're doing. So we are adopting the same technologies that make them rocket mortgage, but we're fusing that together with the personal approach of having a, a knowledgeable professional to walk you down the path. So people want to do business uh, how and when they want to do business, and we can't make people do business how we want them to do business, right? So you can't fight the movements of uh, technology in our industry. You can, you can either grow with them or you can die. So we're adopting technologies, but we're also keeping it together with that personal approach of having that professional that's gonna walk them down the path. And so what I'm trying to help my realtors do also is how are they gonna differentiate, differentiate themselves in a sea of 100,000 realtors, right? And so usually when I ask that question in a group of realtors, I get crickets and nobody says anything and they don't really know. So my job is to help them individually know okay, how are, how are you gonna do something better than your competition? And for, and for every realtor, uh, every mortgage professional and top professional, the answer is gonna be different. Okay? Sure. Um, and that's the beauty of it, is that is what's gonna make you different. Be different and be authentic and be who, you say, who you're gonna be. I didn't come in today with a suit on, I don't wear suits. So if I did, that would not be me, that wouldn't be authentic. You know, you're in what you, what you wear every day. And you know, 15 years ago, it wasn't like that. So right. 15 years ago, it was you had to to meet a certain look and a certain standard and a you know a professional demeanor. And nowadays, it's like you go in with your polos on, and that's who you are. Right? I actually had a realtor years ago that came over to me because I used to dress in a suit and tie every day. They were actually offended to do business with me. They they were fearful to walk in my office and actually talk to me, thinking that that I was much better off than them, or right. or you know they didn't have the 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 ideas to come to me and talk to me and, and, and pick my brain thinking right. maybe I think they were stupid or something. Yeah. And, and ever since that day, I said to myself, you know what, I'm gonna get on that level playing field. And, and you know, I took a course, because when I first got started in this business, I was actually in the mortgage business back in 01. Okay. And I took a, a program called Buy Referral Only, uh, which taught realtors and mortgage people just how to be better at what they do. And one of the things that you touched on, they had a spreadsheet talking about every hour, blocking out every hour right. of your day, what are you going to do? This is when you set your voicemail to say you're you're busy, you know, helping clients. You'll get back to them at this time. Right. So you basically set the expectation for the clients, which helps you be more productive, Absolutely. right? Absolutely. And, and earn more income. So you know, this is a great video. I, th I think it was fantastic. And this is going to tie into our next video, which is talking about how to build your real estate dream team. Because I'm talking on a panel uh, next week, talking about how to build your real estate dream team. That's and obviously, awesome. one of the important dream team members. For realtors is a mortgage person and you covered it you said we want to be your partners right as opposed to I want to be your mortgage broker I want to you want to be their partners in success you want to teach them how to be more successful so then their clients will just pick up the fruit of their labor of right. everything that they're doing they will just benefit from it well so. like you said I mean you, that's doing a good job on the deal whether it's title or whether it's mortgage that's just the basics right like that's just you have to do that but what are you gonna do above and beyond to, to really add value to your partner's business? Yeah. And obviously the, what you're doing with these videos and, and educating is what's adding value to your, to your audience. Absolutely. So. I watched a TED talk, I think I sent it to you uh, on the link of it, which talks about the center of, of the successful people are the why. Simon Sinek, you know, Exactly, yeah. so it's why, why are you doing what you're doing? The what and the how are easy how you're gonna do it every day and what you're offering to products or services is a given. Right. That's your basic, you should be doing that. It's your why and, and why do you do what you do That's and hard what value too. added. It's it, hard it, to it, it, He to. makes it sound simple in the video and so we actually, I, then I went through and read his book, 
the start with why after. So I saw the video initially, and then uh, myself and my partner, we read the book, and there's a whole exercise that you go through to figure out your why. And it's, it's, harder, than, it's, it's harder than people think it is um, to really find the why you do what you do. Um, but once you do and you can tap into it, uh, it, it's it's amazing and the problem is they're so busy with the day-to-day -day, they don't have the times so I had someone with social media the other day there's I just don't have the time for it I'm like okay well then that means you're too busy and right. you don't need more business right if you don't have time to focus on building Correct. your social media brand you obviously are just so busy you're making so much money which isn't really the case right. so it's about knowing your why and, and prioritizing and planning out your time and uh, and Hamilton will be able to you know, they're able to partner with you and, and, and be your success partner as well as us. You know, when it comes to this, you want to deal with a team that is going to have your back. When the going gets tough, the tough get going and they build an amazing team and, and close an amazing amount of deals. And most importantly, do good by the consumer. That's so one consumer tells the next consumer and, and that's the way you do it. That's the way you do business. I mean, right now, on if you go on uh, Facebook or Google and you Google the Close With Us team and we have about 150 uh, reviews online. and. That's just what it's about. It's about taking good care of people and they'll take care of you and, and also building a team. I realized five years ago that uh, I was in the business for 10 years prior and I was doing it the same way over and over again without a team. And you can only do so much and your service ends up suffering. If you're by yourself and you know, you're doing uh, 45, 50 million dollars a year, you, you try to make everybody happy but you're just one person, right? And um, I learned five years ago that, that through building a team we could offer better service not drop the ball as often and uh, as I was I was like hey I want to get back to you as quick as I can but if you have 20 other other people to get back to you it's time is of the essence right. and so now with a team we better serve everybody and uh, everyone has their role and everyone has their specialties and everyone is doing what they enjoy doing as part of that team so now we have a team of about 26 people and um, it's been an awesome journey and we're still building but I think we're better now suited to help our realtor partners than, uh, than I was when I was that one man band because when I was gone, they couldn't get me, but now there's always somebody there to, to take those, you're those changing calls. The, you're changing the way that people view the mortgage industry Correct. and that's the right. whole idea. So we're gonna wrap it up, awesome. we're running out of time. Thanks for joining us today, I appreciate it. Thank you as always for watching Title Tuesdays. Hopefully you'll choose the independence and the close with us team for your next real estate closing. You know, Chad, thanks for uh, joining us today. Tell them a little bit about how they can get in touch with you. Uh, I definitely, well, first of all, thank you for having me. I, I, I want to give you kudos for doing everything that you're doing for your community and, and spending the time to, to help them and uh, educate them. Um, you, can, you can always find us at Close With Us, whether it's on uh, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and uh, our office is locally uh, operated in Sunrise. We have everything under one roof, underwriting, processing, closing, everything happens right in my office. And uh, we're just off of 595 there and, um, and the Sawgrass. So that area right over there, out west, nobody's out there, but we are. And uh, so we'd love to help you guys out in the future. Awesome, well thank you very much. Don't forget, you have to subscribe below. Click the red subscribe button, otherwise you'll never get notified of the next uh, upcoming episode. So again, thanks for watching. My name's Kevin Thatcher, the founder and CEO of Independence Title, also known as your Title King. And I look forward to seeing you at the closing table. Have a great day, bye-bye.